Hello and thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be about stem and leaf plots, including fractions. It's important to remember that stem and leaf plots organize numbers by their place value. So when it comes to fractions, if I'm going to place them on this stem and leaf plot, the whole number will go on the stem side and on the leaf side, you will have the fraction part. So let's get started and read the question that we have in front of us. Marcy walked her dogs every day. She kept a record of how far she walked each time. She recorded the distances she walked in miles below. Record each day's miles on the stem and leaf plot. So here are Marcy's miles. She walked all of these days. She kept a record. And as you can see on this day, she walked one fourth of a mile. She walked one and three fourths on this day, two and two fourths on this day. So she recorded all of her day's walks here in this group. Now it's important to know that I already put these fractions in least to greatest order, but you won't always have data that's in least to greatest order. So you need to put it in that order yourself if it's not already in least to greatest order. So let's get started putting these fractions on my stem and leaf plot. So as you can see, my numbers start here with one fourth and all of these days walked do not have a whole number. She only walked less than a mile on these days. So those will go on the leaf side. One fourth is my least valued day walked. It's the least number of miles she walked on that day. So that's first one fourth again on another day then two fourths she walked a little more two fourths and three fourths so as you can see in this first row there is no whole number and marcy walked those days those distances now let's look at the next row these days she walked one mile and then an additional fraction so she's walking more so we're going to put these days on the next row in my stem and leaf plot so my whole number, my stem, will go here on the stem side, and that is a one. And then my leaves will follow after the stem in the same row. So on this particular day, she walked one and one fourth miles. The next day, you can see that she did walk a mile, but I don't have to put that here again. I'm just gonna leave the one that's already there and I'm going to take the fraction part, the two fourths, and that's gonna go on my stem and leaf plot. So that represents one and two fourths miles walked. The next day, she walked one and two fourths miles again. That one will stay over there, and my two fourths will go on my stem and leaf plot. So, so far I see that she's walked one and one fourth miles, one and two fourths miles, one and two fourths miles. So let's finish up. Her miles walked that were more than one mile. One and two fourths is represented on the stem and leaf plot. The two fourths goes on the leaf. And one and three fourths goes on the leaf side. And that represents, this row represents the days that she walked with a whole number, one mile, and the miles that followed after the mile. So now over here, I have the days that she walked two miles. And you can guess that the two is going to go in my stem and that will be my next row of numbers on this stem and leaf plot, next row of fractions. And she walked two and one fourth miles. So the one fourth will go on the leaf. And then two and two fourths miles. This represents two and two fourths miles. Two and two fourths again was another day she walked. This represents two and two fourths. Another day she walked two and two fourths miles. And then the last day represented in this data set is two and three fourths miles. She walked two and three fourths miles on this day. And so here we've placed numbers from a set of data into this stem and leaf plot. And it's important to know that the numbers go in order from least to greatest in this direction. And then they also go in least to greatest moving down like this. 
So let's answer some questions on this stem and leaf plot. Here you have the stem and leaf plot that we just put together on the previous slide, and here you see the key for the stem and leaf plot. Pay attention to what the key is telling you, it's very important. If I have a whole number on the left and a fraction on the right, it means that I have one and one fourth miles. So let's go ahead and pay attention to what the problem is telling us. Marcy walked her dogs every day. She kept a record of how far she walked each time. She recorded the distances she walked in miles on the stem and leaf plot below. Record your answers in the blank box next to each question. So let's start with question one. How many days did Marcy walk? Well, this is a pretty straightforward question, and all I need to do is look at my leaf side. Every fraction represented on the leaf side is a day that Marcy walked. So all you have to do is count every leaf, and that will tell you how many days she walked. And if I count them, I see that she walked for 15 days. Let's look at number two. Number two tells me how many days did Marcy walk less than one mile? Well, I see that my one mile is represented in the second row, so I need to find the data that's less than a mile. And I like to use brackets whenever I'm trying to isolate data. Here are the days that are less than one mile. So let me count them. It asks for how many days, and I see that's one, two, three, four, five. So she walked less than a mile for five days. Let's look at question three. How many days did Marcy walk only half of a mile? So let's look at my stem and leaf plot here. Do you see one half represented on the stem and leaf plot? It's there, but it doesn't look like one half. This is kind of a hidden number. I see that two fourths and two fourths are the same as one half. So how many days did she walk only half a mile? Two days, because two fourths is equivalent to one half. So the answer to this one is two days. Let's look at number four. How many days did Marcy walk farther than one and a half miles? Farther than. So let's look for one and a half miles. I don't see it represented as one and a half, but I see it represented as a equivalent fraction, and that is here. One and two fourth, one and two fourth, one and two fourth. Those are the days that are equivalent to one and a half. But the question asked me, how many days did she walk farther than that? So the information I need starts here and ends here. These are the days that she walked farther than one and a half miles. And I see that that is six days. Let's go on to number five. Is it true that Marcy walked two and a half miles for four days. Well, let's look and see how many days she walked two and a half miles. So this represents two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half. So she only walked two and a half miles for three days, not four days. So is that true? We would say no, that is not true. And the last question, number six, list the distances below that Marcy walked that were more than two miles. So I'm gonna to go to this row because these are the days she walked more than two miles. And I see that every leaf represented is more than two miles. So when I represent them, I will write each day because each day represents more than two miles. So be sure to write all five days in this box and I'll let you work on that since you are an awesome math student. And here was a stem and leaf plot, including some problem solving. I hope this video helped you to better understand stem and leaf plots, including fractions. If you'd like to see more helpful math videos in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to learn more about the resources used in this video, please read the description below. Thanks for watching.